Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you weekend golf at the Masters. We are through. Cut lines looking to settle at 20 under. There's an outside chance it gets to 21, but we're at 23. We are safely in, so we're going to head back out onto the course today looking to try and make some moves. It is moving day for a reason. So we are on the blue tees here for round three. Medium wins out of the west. Fairways are moderate. Greens are firm. And they're actually a little bit slower than they've been for the first two rounds. So greens have been firming up. Green speeds have steadied and then now come down a little bit. So we're looking to take advantage of this combination. Been playing decently well so far. Now we just need to keep a move on it. If you've been watching over on YouTube and enjoying these rounds, please consider dropping a sub. It goes a long, long way for us. You don't want to miss out on any of this Masters content, or any of our tournaments for that matter. But uh, let's get moving day started right now. Going right over this bunker. Beautifully judged. Hey, what's going on, Fly Guy? Welcome back. YouTube dialogue is strong. The, the YouTube dialogue, I would say, is definitely the weakest part of... <laughs> definitely the weakest part of my... My content creation, I guess. Self-promoting is probably the most uncomfortable thing to me. Alright, I don't want to go straight at this flag. I want to I wanna go relatively at it, but... I also want to make sure that we stay right enough of the hole. It's a good strike. Oh, it's a little bit far. Come on, sit nice. Okay. Remember to ring that bell. <laughs> what, we're the Phillies now? We're going to ring the bell? All right, so we've, we've left ourselves a little bit long, given ourselves a little bit of a slider. Gotta make sure that we are out and about enough here. Starting this. See, but the crazy part with these is like you just don't hit them hard, right? So you don't hit them hard, but then they roll. Ah, I did. I did like a very similar thing early in the round yesterday. So we just get a little bit high side there, doesn't quite break, carries a little bit of momentum through. Okay. Well, apparently we're gonna start moving day with a pin on a slope and we're just in the wrong spot. Unfollow <laughs> Yeah, it just, you know, this guy sucks. <laughs> He's asking me to follow him, but like, why would I want to see this kind of content? And that is, that is maybe a wonderful question. Interestingly enough, we played a clean tournament up until moving day. So we, we set ourselves behind, but this guy's going to roll down the hill big time. Front pin here. We might just, depending on how far this goes, we might just give ourselves a chance at, at some sort of wedge. Okay, a little bit further, but this being, this being here, we can probably put some brakes on it. Downhill live, but wind playing in, so we'll have to kind of counteract the two. Boxhead coming in with the gifted sub. Gifting to Vandy. Thank you very, very much, Boxhead. Vandy, I hope that you enjoy your faces. Too kind, too kind. All right, come on. Let's let's make up for let's make up for our mistakes on one with a little bit of something here. I think you're okay to play this a little bit left. Like I think it's gonna. 
goes long. Just a touch of backspin here. Oh, that's that's too far right. That's too far right. That's bunker bound. All right, not a not a great start here, admittedly. But it happens. There's a lot of golf left to play. Ah, a little far. Not too bad, though. Should should make for a good up and down. And then for the future putts here, we're just going to have to, on those short ones, really keep our wits about it. The ones with a lot of break have to make sure that we give enough respect. All right, so we're even through two. It's It's no big deal. It is no big deal. Now, the question becomes here... Is driving the green actually something worthwhile? Because it's pretty quick, so I don't know if we land on the fairway early, if we have a chance at it. It seems, it seems like bait, and the way that that's up, like you're trying to chip that into a downhill, like missing down this way would be better, but then that's a longer shot. I'm going to play this smart. I just, I really don't trust the drive here. Three has hole-in-one written all over it. I have yet to ever make in any game a hole-in-one on a par four. That's like the one, I guess the one notch in my belt to lay that out. Yeah, I just, I just don't see with the firmness and the speed. If it's a slower green speed, then sure. But with it being as fast as it is, feels like such a such a tough ask oh that's a real nice strike oh we still make eagle anyway come on Alright, you know, that's an adventurous two under through three. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like this in your life? I can't I can't do the announcer's voice, but I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> Alrighty then. Yeah, three under through or two under through three. Uh yeah. Scorecards don't have pictures on it, so you know nobody's nobody's gonna know other than watching the video what, what happened to get here. <laughs> All right, now this is always a tough... The the par threes on the front are, are quite difficult. Just in terms of sheer length. So we got 236 yards. At least it's downhill. 227. See, this is where we get a little bit dicey. 215. Say we go into the 220s and a little bit further firm. And then the uphill... Five iron should have some legs. I'll be next. Don't care. That's a par three. Yeah, let me switch over to PC and just drop the ball in the hole real quick. Gonna go right, but it should slow down nicely up this hill, hopefully to a decent spot. I think that's I think that has to be pretty good. I mean there's movement left in this putt, but I don't know that you're ever gonna get this to like anything truly flat. It's a solid approach. Alright, so we're breaking early.
It's a good roll. It's a very good roll. Very few, if any, easy putts here at Fruitland. Yeah, no, they're they're definitely not simple. And hoping for them to be simple, I guess, is uh, definitely a mistake on my part. Vern Lundquist voice commands. Yeah, we're definitely uh, not a voice command channel. That gets... <laughs> it's fun, but at the same time, voice command, like, redemptions can get quite out of hand. Ooh, this is tough. Because I think... I think this pitching wedge wants to land short, and then I don't think it gets enough release down the hill. And if you look at this right at the flag... It starts to go just up, so it's gonna it's gonna stop once it's in there. But I think I have to take this nine iron and just work the yardage back on it. And then this is These are tough because I don't know I don't know how this lie is going to play when all is said and done. Like I guess the first thing I can take a look at is like okay, the wind is probably going to play somewhere like here. Right? Wind is probably going to play somewhere like here. How much is the, like, is our push to the right going to counteract it? I'm going to play a little bit to the right because it funnels. I don't want to be too far left. I slowed the crap out of that. I, like, didn't, I don't know, I, I don't know what happened in my brain, but I just, like, didn't swing the golf club. There was like somewhere in there there's a there's a definite mental lapse. Okay, it happens. I mean it shouldn't happen at this level of golf, but it, it happens. Ah. It's gonna stick out to the right. Distance control is really good, but I'm trying to get that to go fast and back over. This is always a tough hole anyway. I just feel like rounds two and three have been gettable with it, and we've kind of kind of just thrown them away. Just going to hit that firmly in. All right. Got to focus up. Got to focus up. When we, when we focus and we commit, we hit good shots. I think I just let myself get a little bit too wishy-washy on that, like not knowing how I felt about that approach and then just didn't, didn't swing, so... You can't do that. But we move on. Alright, so... I mean, there's definitely wind, right? And then we're definitely going to lose this ball out to the right, and then the two of those are going to work in some nice harmony to come back in the hole, right? All right, there's the overcompensation for the swing that we had last time with the fast. We must have underhit it. All right. Don't know what uh what happened to our swing here, but we'll get it back. I have I have some faith. Then 85% Let's just let's just hold one out, why don't we? Or not. <laughs> Gonna leave that way out to the right. Pretty good distance control. Yeah, round round three, Linkster. Round three. We were twenty three under through two. Bogeyed the first and then went uh birdie eagle birdie. And then par par here. I gotta get the swing back. We'll, uh, we'll play round four tomorrow. Sun's grade three teacher pulls that one along with macaroni and cheese. Everybody freeze. 
<laughs> yeah, there are so many say that's like the hips and lips and all the different things that they they say to get elementary school kids like listening and behaving. Alright, pitching wedge here, 146. Fly close to 144, and then you get a little bit of wind in. It's definitely a few yards. Which is kind of scary in that, like, I think I need to deloft a little with some backspin because I honestly fear that this pitching wedge could be not enough. So then the question becomes, do you go to 9-iron and loft it? Which I guess is a reasonable thing to be thinking here. Now it is medium winds. 158. I'm like backing out of these shots just a little bit. I've like that one slow shot has really has really messed with my mental. Like for every reason we had that shot, I don't know what reason, but now all of a sudden I like I have to find the tempo again. <laughs> we'll freaking take that putt. Get off the par train. Get off the par train, sir. Can we... Can we carry this, is the question. It's up 62, but I don't know if this is... I can get 14 yards of carry and then and then hope a little bit. I'm going to hit the overpower just to make sure. And I think if we didn't, we would have been awfully awfully close. Okay. So now that gives us opportunity to try and go after this thing. 240, 224. 97% is going to be at least 7 yards, so we're landing it back here with the hybrid. Got a big slope. But this should also... Climb, right? I don't think it's going to be in such a way... It doesn't make it. I guess the question becomes, is out the back okay? And I think out the back is okay. Because you're then up that hill. So three wood. 242. 234. I think you actually gain distance from this. See how this goes. Took it a little bit high, and I'll, yeah, that's going to be a big bounce. All right, so a little bit further. I got that a little bit further right than I wanted. I was hoping if we land that on the green, that's very different. Okay, big downhill. Think if we go something in here, should be enough. And come out to the right, but we're gonna end up hitting it just back a little left, bounce, and then roll down to the hole.
That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. This is what I said about- <laughs> this is- this is exactly what I said about our round two. I played really well and also made some really bad shots. <laughs> like, we're in this weird limbo state of like, we're executing some things. Like, when we execute, things are there to a T. And then other times, we just do some really dumb stuff and you go, Okay, what in the world was that? Lockshead coming in with another gift sub. This time it's a little jet ski. Lockshead, thank you very, very much. Jet ski, I hope you enjoy your brand new set of faces. Who even is this? I, I don't know. I, yeah. Uh, somebody, somebody's learning to play the game a little bit differently. Let's hit a nice pitching wedge up here. Hit that one fast, but there's a bit of protection on the left-hand side of the screen, so I'm okay with it because the extra distance gets us to the slope. There's a little slope that feeds behind here, but it's not high enough to go rolling off the green. All right, right to left. Not gonna get beat by this again. Not this time. Not this time. So that was an adventurous seven under. We got a bogey, we got two eagles. But uh, yeah, that works, that works for me. You know, the beautiful thing, Kara, about not practicing and everything is having zero idea how difficult this is actually playing. <laughs> oh my god, that's 7 under. Okay, so that's a back hole location. We want approach angle here. I think 3 would... Hybrid's the safe play. Let's just say that much. Hybrid is the safe play. But I think by the time we shape this three wood around. It should land it short enough that there, there really shouldn't be any way for us to get down in to the bunker. Like we should get good run out here. Hopefully give us enough distance so that. We have a reasonable approach. Yeah, 173. So downhill 8 and then back in... Maybe like 5? I don't really know. I have such a hard time judging medium wins, so... Let's call it 178. If it is 5... I mean, we're talking close to pin high, so maybe I can put like... Just the backspin mostly on... And then, don't want to be too far left, but I don't want to end up right of the green. Baby slowed it. That's going to be right of the green. And now that's going to be a harder bounce. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Because it slopes away. It picks up a little bit of speed. But that's all on the slow. Like, if we hit that perfect you know then you're on the green you get a softer bounce feeds to the hole a little bit more okay with the amount of speed we have have to make sure that we we cozy this up 
Gotta make sure that we cozy this up. Just trying to think, like, with it being downhill... You're gonna hit this, it's gonna be... I think there. Uh, it's gonna fall too short. Yep, right at the hole. Right at the hole. That's really not bad at all. That's a pretty, that's a pretty solid read. Stings a little bit to just go low side on it, but I'm, I'm pretty pleased overall. 69 foot down, nice. Don't really have Tailwind. Try and go for the overpower here. Because I'm feeling frisky. And with it being downhill so much, and like in that spot, I would love to come into this shot with as little loft as possible. Or as, not as little, as much loft as possible. <laughs> little loft, not so great. 196, back a little bit. So you could take a 7 iron to like here, into this uphill. And you're just talking 7 yards to the hole? That's not bad. Now, slight downhill lie and slight little bit of wind and... Yeah, maybe that all cancels out. Tough call. Very, very tough call. Five mile an hour wind as well. And then, like, you have to... I could end up just being too far... Too far left here. But I think we'd rather be left with a putt than right with a chip over that. Ah! Getting a couple of these shots, that was, that carried a bit further, so, doesn't even matter, but like, a couple of these shots here, I just, for whatever reason, am not comfortable enough over it, and, you know, we go through these random waves of just suddenly hitting real bad, real bad stuff. Ah, uh, even that was not short enough. Took a pretty big first hop. Tough, tough, tough. Good save. All right, I have I have struggled with ten and eleven this tournament. Like making it making it around ten and eleven has not been not been easy for us. All right, now now for twelve, and then we go for more scoring. But we gotta we gotta look at this shot. We gotta take it. We gotta take it very seriously. Can't be looking can't be looking ahead yet. 156, right? And then this isn't going to quite play 8. But I'd be kidding myself if I didn't think that it was going to play to some extent.
It's this little foot break. Set it firmly right in the middle of the cup. All right, that's a big bird. We like we like birdies on the twelfth. That was a, that was a pretty solid approach shot. The, getting it just above the hole is always tough, but can definitely make things happen. All right, so we're gonna have to do some slanging. We're gonna have to do some slanging here. That's a pretty good tee shot. Avoid the trees. Slinging around for just under 300 yards and running out. All right, let's try again, Eagle here. Stop doing something because you couldn't find a pen and paper. Then they have a notepad on your phone. <laughs> technology, huh? How about that? Good old technology. Okay, so we're just looking, I think, to get up onto that back shelf. Not trying to do anything too fancy. Just gonna ride this a little bit left to right. It came up a few yards short of what I would have liked it to. Okay, well. It is what it is. I thought I thought we were gonna get a little bit more out of that. Mayhaps somewhere along the way I uh, misjudged something. What is this? Does this break evenly? Is this an even just straight double breaker or what are we what are we looking at here? Like how how strong is this break actually at our feet? Yeah, I'm going I'm going straight. Hopefully that's enough power. I feel like I may have underhit it. Yeah, I just barely underhit it. I there's a chance there's a chance of maybe eagling that if we we hit it hard enough, but I'm always so paranoid on those. That works. That works. We'll take we'll take bird. Fake struggles? I you know, Lox said, I, I wish I was fake struggling. There's like just something really weird with me at the moment where like no matter how well I'm playing, I just I always make some mistakes. And I don't know if that's a if that's just a self discipline focus type thing or, or what it is, but yeah, I always, I always manage to, to find some way to mess up what really shouldn't be messed up. Just gotta have enough distance. I hit the fast. My my brain is just saying you gotta clear that ridge. My brain is just saying gotta clear that ridge. So so hard for me to sit over that putt and like have have a good feel with it hey what's going on shakar how we been welcome back welcome back
Oh, that came out way low. That took so much break early. Really good distance control, but like... So <laughs> that started coming back across way, way too much too early on. Hell of a sunburn? Uh, it's probably that the camera decided it wanted to auto-adjust. Let me see. No? I don't know, sometimes the sometimes the green screen lighting gets a little bit messed up. I don't know, I mean I did I did get some sun. I don't think I'm burnt though. I didn't get like that much sun. But it's been nicer out. Hey, what's going on, Ryan? Who's my pick for the masters? I haven't like researched it enough, but I I really have a hard time picking in Scotty at the moment. Do I think Scotty's actually going to win it? I don't I don't I don't think so necessarily. But he's so hard to pick against at the moment. Just he has the Masters experience. He's got a win under his belt there as well. But he's been playing so well too. We'll see. I I think you know I have a hard time pick. Like I I want to put. If not Scotty, then who? Right? Like I think I think there's always a chance for someone like Rory to finally put things together or. Or Kepka to, you know, hold it together at the end. Um, yeah, there's also the chance of someone like uh, Ludwig Uber. Like, he could... You know, it's he's probably the best... One of the best rookies coming into it. You know, but it's so hard to win there on your first. You know, it's so hard to win there on your first try. Hey, how's it going, Ollie? Rory to complete the career Grand Slam? Yeah, and like... The, the, if, the thing that Rory needs is, I think, looking historically, Rory pretty much every year has one, one round where he just kind of blows up quite a bit over par. If he can do without... Like, if he gets rid of that one round, I think he can win. But currently, with what he's got with that, you know, that's just not going to cut it. Minwoo Lee, he had a... Was it last year or the year before that he had that crazy front nine and then... Fell off a bit. Oh, he pulled a straight ball there. And overshaped it. I got, I got aggressive. I'm not going to sit here and act like we did not get aggressive with that. The wind just, I think it turned a little bit, didn't carry near as much, and that's all she wrote. All right, well, it happens. We're, we're on the weekend, we're trying to go for stuff. I don't think I want to flop this. That seems too tight. This is 50. 48. It's 18 yards, that's probably about 9. What was, what was that dance? Uh, we did like a little loop-de-loop -loop thing there. Tried to spin up the hill and come back down. Okay. <laughs> 139, 140. I've been struggling with the distance on these guys.
And we're going to hit this right and with wind. Under hit it. I'm probably going to come up just short. That's a pretty good line, too. Shame that. But I do, I do like the prospect of a birdie putt. I do like the prospect of a birdie putt. A little bit more break at the tail end of this. So you get it up. You get it turning nicely up and in. All right. So we've made some mistakes on the back. It happens. It happens. It's been an interesting round. Like, we've done some really, really good things. And we've also done some really odd things. If we can get a couple of scores here to finish, which like 17 and 18 have not been the kindest to me thus far in the tournament, we can maybe move up the leaderboard, if anything, or just trying to hold fast in our position. I think it's probably dumb to try and roll this down, right? Like, does it get enough? Not going eight iron pitch, that's for certain. But the question becomes, you know, up the hill and with a little bit of wind. I think trying to sit the gap wedge down so long as I'm like. Feeling this right. Under hit it a little bit, but under hit brings that slope back into play, so it's not the end of the world. Yeah, interesting, interesting little pin because the the holes around here really, really force you into a lot of spin control situations, you know. So it's all about, like, picking the right shot and not having it de-green, whether it be spinning it back too much or letting it just roll through. Okay, it's quite uphill, but I think it's also uphill to this point, so... I don't know if we can carry the bunker. I just pulled one fast into the bunker, though. Yeah. All right. Well, that was a tough one. I had to shape it around anyway, so... This is always going to be a tough ask. At least we don't have a bunker lip. Eagle this? In what world is this an eagle <laughs> opportunity? <laughs> I, I appreciate the, I guess, optimism. Four iron here, 190, 180. The four iron gets us, like, right at pin high. Oh, come on. Oh, this might be interesting. Yeah, that's how you play it. <laughs> okay. Um, yep, through the through the bunker and on. Just how you just how you draw it up.
All right, well, you know, we brought... <laughs> we brought the wedges out for this round. We brought the wedges out to play. It was a very interesting round, uh, sort of all over the place in some senses, but hey. That's 12 under on moving day. We're at least keeping up with the guys that are in the top 10. Currently tied for 10th on PlayStation. So, you know, we'll see how that shakes out on the overall leaderboard. Hopefully that's enough to slide us into that top 20, which is what we're looking for to take the last demo mark away. And we'll, we'll get after it one more time tomorrow around 4.